It's 102 on the Edge. It's Mark, and I'm here with Michael, Evan, Andrew, and Sarah. You might not know the name the Gregory Brothers, but I have a feeling if you uh, have been on the Internet any time in the past couple of years, you have to have seen the Bed Intruder song, and you have to have seen Auto-Tune the News. This is what they do, and they uh, are in studio with me right now. How are you guys doing? Great. Thanks for having us, Mark. Thank you for, for coming by. I know you're, you're working off very little sleep right now because you are on tour, um, the Digitour, with a whole bunch of other YouTube stars and everything. We're going to get into that later, but we need to talk about you first. So I, you guys are, it's, it's clear you're, you're legit musicians, all of you, very talented. Um, but somehow this auto-tune thing really caught on quickly. How did this start? Well, it all started because uh, I, think, I think we uh, all recognize that um, pop stars and people that were trying to make a living singing were getting a lot of recognition, but, but there was very little recognition coming for uh, people who were unintentionally singing. Yeah, for approximately the last 200,000 years, we've really only been listening to intentional singers, and I think that's a big problem because unintentional singers, the people that are singing by accident, whether they are Katie Couric or Antoine Dodson, have great songs that they're singing every day. Just as we failed to, un- to, to appreciate unintentional songs, the unintentional songs that surround us every day in the world. So we really think of what we're doing as, as an act of social justice. Social justice. So it's more of. There we go. (laughs) So we really think of what we're doing as an act of social justice. So you're you're making people aware that there is music and art all around us. If we want to take it a step further, and just say on a much grander scale, really what you're doing is opening our eyes to more music. Mark, that was huge. Did that just blow your mind a little bit? Let's go there. Let's take that step for sure. Because I don't know if anyone's done that before, but I just did. (laughs) I think there is Plato, there is Socrates, and then there is you. Yeah, right yeah. there. Also, and also, <laughs> don't I just took it up and another Morpheus level. From the Matrix. Morpheus from Morpheus. And Morpheus. <laughs> you and Morpheus. He is right on the same level with, with Plato, isn't he? What we're trying to tell you is you are our Morpheus. 102.1 <laughs> The Edge, 21st Century Philosophy. I'll take the blue pill. <laughs> was that the right one? I can't remember. I don't remember which one. Was. Who's your favorite person to auto tune so far? Ooh. Well, without a doubt, Antoine Dodson. Uh, leaped to the highest tier of the unintentional singing hall of fame with the bed intruder song. Um, previously we had had great experiences, uh, co-writing songs with, uh, Katie Couric, the newscaster, but also, um, people from the political sphere, vice president Joe Biden and, uh, on occasion, uh, president Obama. And you bring up Antoine Dotson, um, the bed intruder song. How did you find the video? First of all, did someone send that to you or were you just, searching for wheels off local news stories on YouTube one day and happen to come across it. I think probably two dozen people sent it to me within like 12 hours. Really? Yeah. So it, it, it was unavoidable. And right away I saw these are already the greatest lyrics of the whole year. We've got to turn this into a song. How long did it take to fashion all that? Because he gave you a lot of gold in just that short video. So how did you, how long did it take to kind of work out that? project i think i had the video up in two days and then within another week we had the itunes version up when mm-hmm. we took it to itunes you're absolutely right though the, i mean the his interview was just full of amazing you know hooks and catchphrases so um you know i mean i think what i mean of many things that i think michael noticed instantly was that um that this 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 could be a standalone you know pop hit on its own and it really is. Yeah. Like, it's literally a song that will show up on my iTunes shuffle, and I <laughs> nice. won't think twice about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll have it playing at parties, and it's, I've even heard reports of it playing at clubs. And, like, so it's, it's and like. when it does, the club goes nuts. Goes nuts. <laughs> Everybody gets crazy with it. Did you ever think that this, something like this would happen, you know, for someone else that you auto tune? Did you ever think it would come to this, where he becomes a huge celebrity as well? I remember when we were four or five years old. I mean, this is all we talked about, you know, back, <laughs> back in the days. We were like, guys. When we grew up, there's going to be a technology invented that'll make people's speaking voices become singing voices. We're going to find a news clip that is really amazing, and we're going to make them a star and ourselves minor. Yeah, that's I think that, you that, said that. That's, that's basically been our lifelong dream. You said that, and then I said it's going to sound kind of like this, singing into the fan. You know, we were just like shouting into the fan, like, this is what Autotune is going to be like. Mm-hmm. We you just, know what? We're waiting for that right person to show up and and. and yeah. We just yeah we actually hooked up our oscillating fan to our uh, Apple SE2, you know <laughs> the first family computer, but it just the the ports didn't didn't fit. 
And uh, we said someday these two these two things will go together. So that I is a good think. point. I never even thought of that. Is talking into the fan is like the early form of auto tune. Yeah, which which is why we're so concerned about the future of American auto tuners. What with the invention of the the Dyson, the new Dyson fan. I mean, a bladeless fan. I mean, we our country could fall behind. What are you gonna do? Other with that? other countries that have stuck with the oscillating fan because their their children will be seeing a new fan. No fun to yell into that fan, yeah. and that's what fans are for, right? Yelling into. Is T Pain really in any of your cell phones? Oh, great question. <laughs> <laughs> the, the name T Pain is the name T Pain is. <laughs> yeah, Michael could dial T Pain right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you do? What would all right? So, if he really is in one of your cell phones, what would happen if we try to call him right now? I think if I tried to call him, he would not receive the call because his phone is on airplane mode. Alas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that whenever my phone is lost around the apartment and I'm trying to find it and I pick up Michael's phone to dial myself, I'm like, man, Michael, how do you not have my number? Why is, why is my name not in your phone? And then I realize that my name is listed as T-Pain. Awesome. I keep forgetting to change it back. But you, and you I always get it. Andrew and T-Pain mixed up anyway. Yeah, so a it's easy. It's easy. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to do. I could see that. Have you guys ever met him? Does he, does he, I, know, I know he knows of you and I, I, I'm sure you guys have met somewhere along the way, but what does he think of all this? We feel like our, we feel like our hearts have met each other through time and space. But no, we have not shaken hands with the man, unfortunately. Has yeah. he? We're we're mutual fans of each other's work. Oh, okay. He's he's tossed some jobs our way, and uh, um, obviously we're big fans of, of what he does too. Yeah, but he was one of the several primary inspirations. I'd have to say it was mainly T Pain, Katie Couric, and Rachmaninoff were the three main mm-hmm. inspirations. Those are actually my three main inspirations for getting into radio as well. So, mm. strangely enough, I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, they touch uh, so many hearts. <laughs> they really have. Really. Yeah.